um, turn on my computer, watched or not watch, um, read up on some drama on the uh, Navajo Times. I don't know if if you guys heard that Jonathan has gone to a fight. They um, window rocked it. I think two days ago. He uh, well, I, I don't know if it was an actual fight, but he was uh, he got on on the news article. I read that he got into an altercation with the protester. There was a protest going outside his office. They're trying to they're trying to um, have Nez and Eliza resign so over something a domestic violence or something and instead of the instead instead of protesting domestic violence the protesters and Jonathan has gotten to a domestic violence outside his office i guess he was coming back from somewhere and his security guards were behind him and he was walking to his office Jeanette, this is just Jeanette, so don't take it from me you didn't hear it from me, hey. So this is a chapter house talk. So you, what happens here? No one points fingers of who said what. You just tell people. But anyways, so I guess he was going to his office, and two brothers came up to him that were protesting. They had their mask on. They had their flag saying, um, "Jonathan is and Liza must resign." And something happened. Altercation, or they were. They were saying some words together or to each other. Jonathan Ez was trying to be nice and shake hands like, oh, okay, you know, thank you for uh, setting a peaceful protest. And the guy just all of a sudden said, uh, you know, saying some stuff. And uh, apparently, I don't know, right there I was reading and it said that it, it, I a witness was watching the whole thing go down and she said she I, I think she said a flag like got in her view and then when the flag was uh, started waving back the other way she she all of a sudden saw Jonathan Nez on on the top of um, that guy that he was all uh, that was trying to get in his face and they were on each other and I don't know if they were fighting or what but they were they definitely had each other you know grab like they were holding like grabbing onto each other and then I don't know where Jonathan Nez's security was, but I definitely would if he, Jonathan Nez, if you are looking for a security guard, right here, a real true diehard fan. So his his security guards were in the parking lot, all huddled up, doing what you know, a talking, a gossiping, and they seen Jonathan Nez on the ground, all on top of this dude, just foot, like a wailing on him, I think. And so they ran, they sprinted. That's what I can hear. So they grabbed Jonathan Nez. He was all in his suit, his bolo tie. He readjusted his glasses, combed his hair back on the side. Uh, though they just split him up. That guy was on the ground. His other brother was about to jump in, they said. And um, they said, No, no. Won't watch it. Go home. Go, grandma's. Grandma's asleep. Her sheep's still outside. So they chased Jonathan Nez inside, and Jonathan Nez was like, meet me outside, catch me outside. Eh? So they, they chased him in, and that guy, that guy that Jonathan Nez jumped on top of and was getting wailed on, was getting, um, was pretty much on the bottom of Jonathan Nez. <laughs> That's not right. But he ended up, he ran down to the police station right down there. And like you know where the president's office and auto right down the street maybe about mile uh, half a mile there's the Navajo Nation police station ah oh, that he ran out there like he was in the canal running all hard I heard that he made it in like three minutes he sprinted down there which is a pretty good run anyways um so he called or he he went to the office and he said I wanna I wanna go uh. I want to go uh, file a complaint, and then they said against who? Hey, yeah, la the the uh, front desk lady. That guy said Jonathan Nez, and she thought it was a joke, and she laughed him off. So he said, Ah, oh, nee, he did this to me, and there was like a scratch on his jaw right here, and he don't know. They don't know if that scratch came from Jonathan Nez, which I hope it didn't, because I know my boy doesn't scratch, but um. 
I think he probably like scratched himself when as he was running to make it look like he did it, or I think he probably scratched his uh, jaw on on the sidewalk when Jonathan Ez jumped on him and they were fighting each other on the ground. But anyways, um, so they filed a complaint. Then he ran back to the protest, and then when they were when they got out there or when he got back to the protest site, um, Jonathan Nez, but not get this, um, Fafilia Nez. I guess during that time when Jonathan Nez got pushed back into the office, he was readjusting his tie. His hair was a little overdue, so he had to re-slick it. His glasses was slight bent, and there's a smudge on the on the uh, on the lens. Although he's refixing his uh, rings, his his turquoise. <clears throat> so for Phil, it's hot. Eh? Where are you coming back out of? Are you coming back from sagebrush? What, what like what happened, Jonathan Nez? Hey, I. Damn, I got into a fight outside. Dug all hardcore. He's all like, I beat up a guy. And the Fafilia said, Ha, huh, hey, where? Ha, huh, there. She's all, you know, curious. And Jonathan is like, Oh, the hey. She gone, hey. I don't know what happened. I think I overthrew my arm, he said. So, so Fafilia got up and she was signing um some kind of treaty some, or some kind of. I think she was just about to approve the um, next. Uh, um, she was about to approve. I think she, I think they said they were. She was just about to sign her name to approve the next um, um, a COVID checks for the Navajo Nation. So she just stopped and she slammed that pin on the on the paper, and she said, "That's it. I'm going outside." So she went outside. So the COVID paper the is gonna the uh, COVID checks are probably gonna be a little delayed after this story because this is what it's, if you know if, if you don't know why the COVID checks are gonna be delayed this is why because this is what happened so so Fafilia Nez went outside Johnson Nez tried grabbing her holding her back but she said let me go I'm gonna talk to you guys she oh then she went outside and she opened she she kicked open the door outside Jeanette this is what I read this is what I heard so she went outside then she looked at the crowd and there was a bunch of people outside and she, protesting Nez and Lizer D um resigned from the office now Navajo Nation blah 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 and so Fafilia Nez she pulled her skirt up and she walked over there like she's about to box somebody said all you people over here you guys are saying you guys don't want domestic violence on the reservation all against your own people yet you're doing this you did this to my husband she's all shouting at them you know cussing them out from 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 head to toe Although the bodyguards, eh, ah, dent, na, na, con, they grabbed Fafilia arm. There was one, one couldn't even hold her back. Two, then, three bodyguards, four bodyguards, hey, took her. Then she slipped out. Five, six more bodyguards, they pull her back into the office. She was ready to throw down. She's like, look at me in the eyes and let me see who wants to fight. Man, but, um, then that's what happened, and then I heard they closed the, the doors to the president's office. They Then they put her in the office with John Dinez. They They were all arguing, and I don't think the hardship program checks are being signed this morning because of what happened, because everyone forgot about what happened. They just kind of, the security guards just were trying to go calm uh, Fafilia down, so they grabbed her, everything that was on her desk including the hardship program uh, checks that she was going to sign they just buried all that in her desk and she they told her sit on your desk because you're all done yet yeah yeah so they had to calm her down i don't know so i from what i've heard i heard that fulfillionez hasn't signed the hardship program checks because she's upset still about what the people are doing to her husband saying that they she he put a law on the line for the people during uh covid uh during the covid times and she said that it takes a lot to be a leader and um i think i read something like oh yeah it sounded like you people need to understand that so this hardship program check might not be signed later so anyways that's what i heard that's that's the janine news this morning so those of you that are waking up sorry for ruining your morning you know if your if your coffee if your coffee tastes bad for some reason sorry for you know for telling you this story but anyways <clears throat> um so that was the drama i read on uh 
on Navajo Times. So you guys check it out. Navajo Times. I think it's on Navajo and Hopi Observer and the Gallup Independent. Um, I think it's on Winslow's um, um, news too. Winslow's, uh, what the heck was it called? That one, that one, a newspaper. Something, uh... Ah, oh, but yeah, that's my Jonathan Nez. Jonathan Nez, my boy, got his back. Damn, if I was there, I, I, I would have been now. I would have been adding his. I would have been having his back too. Yep. But anyways, anybody hear that on the res? Anybody hear about that? Jonathan Nez got into a fight on the res. Navajo Nation. Let me read all the comments again. What are people saying? Uh, let me see. Good morning from Ogden. Yes, good morning. What are you guys thinking for dressing for kids for Halloween? Uh, we will show that in a video soon. We don't want to announce it. We want to make it a surprise. Um, very understandable. Having kids is so precious. You, you so cute. Your blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Tiffany. Uh, you and your Jonathan Nez for real. Jonathan Nez is man. Jonathan Nez, man. He. Yep. That's it. That's a story you should tell your grandkids and your kids. Your kids. 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 What what will you say to Jonathan Nez if you really see him? You're funny with your uh, Just tell him, like, damn, dude, Jonathan Nez. Johnny. I need you, if you need a security guard, I'm right here. Come on, they hired me. We want to move back to the res. Provide us with a nice home. We'll be your next door neighbor if you want. You can babysit. Fafilia can babysit for us. First lady. Uh, this article is in the Navajo Times. Yep, yep, it's in the Navajo Times. Check it out. Go to your nearest store. Go to Bash's. Buy uh, Navajo Times. I think they're about $1.75 now. They're no longer a dollar. Um, okay, okay. President can fight. Yep. Just nosy this one. Hey. Yeah, let's worry about Jonathan Nez. Damn. <clears throat> nice native freestyling. Uh, no... Just knows all the details. <laughs> that's what that's what I heard on KTN. Uh, someone on, on KTN was broadcasting it too early this morning. Uh, let me see. Might as well do a vlog about Jonathan. Nez. He's he's a, he's uh, doing today. If your president can't control himself as a public figure, then most definitely he needs to be removed. Um, just makes them sound all rowdy. Worse than state line drama. <laughs> Oh my God, boys! They're talking about your president, Jonathan Ness. Mount Ani said, "Don't talk about him." He thinks that's his da, but maybe it is. Oh no! You know what? His last two clans are the same as mine, so maybe he is your uncle. Uh, let me see. Oh, good morning, Flagstaff. Oh, don't need to check it out. Think you told the whole world. He know all the news when he's not even back at home. For reals, I thought you guys would have all known. So the fight was yesterday. It was uh two days ago. I think it was. I think now it's two days ago. Just gonna be like, I have your back no matter what. A eh? good morning, bro. Just here at work. And I say, oh, Ren, Easy Murphy, at eh? What, baby? What? Navajo man is TMZ. It's all good and as long as he didn't go into John Wick mode. Eh? Yeah, Jonathan Nez. Don't mess with Jonathan Nez. If, if you guys got something to say about Jonathan Nez, be careful. He watches our channel. So um, he did subscribe too. So be careful. If you if, if you have something to say against him, he might come to your house and wail. And he might come to your house and sit on you and wail on you. So be careful. What, baby? This is the official drinking cup of Navajo Nation. <sighs> this is my, this is my ab wheel. Just go out, come back. It's like, it's like the grinding corn on the corn stump. On the, on those stones. <laughs> This is how grandma was in shape. She just goes like this all day on her corn, uh, grinding corn. This is how grandma was in shape. No doubt. <clears throat> a whole good story there. It wasn't a story, dude. It was a real life thing. Um, Jonathan Nez. Jonathan Nez actually wailed on the protester. 
Well, I guess the protester had it coming. It's his fault because he was like, he was like um, pointing in his face and he put his hands on him a couple times. And then Jonathan says, that, all right, that's it. He took off his glasses and put it in his pockets. Like, all right, let's do this. We're going to do this like we're at the dot, like we're at second night. No bodyguards, no referee. No, um, yeah, so you just, no squad dance happening. We're just going to do this right here, right now. Pinion style. Yeah, Jedito style, yeah. Mm, let me see. Hello, I love you guys so much. Oh, we love you too. Yate, Bene, how grandma was in shape exactly. She was, she had big guns. Good morning from California. All the gold. What, baby? Oh, I'm getting attacked. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me move. I think these boys want to get in their walker. Let me, uh, let me get away from the camera for a bit. Comment or whatever you guys can. Um, go grab some coffee. I'm going to go put these boys in the walker real quick. Come on, baby. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That was not Ani. He grabbed my. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That was not Ani. He grabbed my. He grabbed my camera. Hold on. Let me put him. In the walk. He grabbed my camera. Hold on. Let me put him in the walker too. Come on, Goose Head. Let me see. All right. All right. Here we are, back again. We're back live. Damn, how come my camera is all... Oh, there it is. Okay. Jonathan Nez. Who said what? Jonathan Nez, the next Travis Friday. Next time, play the bar song for Jonathan Nez. He wants to go vlog. Um, there was his time. To, or it was his turn to talk about President Nez. He was uh, taking over the vlog. Just couldn't hold the phone. Yeah. Um, she can Yeah, hey, uh, they are doing their morning exercise she can yeah they are doing their morning exercise yeah yeah anyways if you guys don't believe me go to go to navajo times or go to navajo observer and go check it out you guys will go uh see uh what jonathan Nez did but i highly encourage you guys you guys don't reenact it uh, Desert Rose, just, I'm not from the tribe, but if you, the audience prayer protest caught, it, it's not gossip for reals. Um, yeah, everyone thinks I'm gossiping right now, but what I'm, what I'm speaking is the facts, the truth facts. Um, uh, preaching. Can't see you, it's black screen. How about now, can you see me? Can you see me, or can you at least hear me? If, 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 uh, you can at least hear me. Then we're good. What's everybody doing today? Let me see. Let me see. Haji. Haji Johnson Nez. Uh, only see black screen in on ours on our end. What really? Can you see me? Should I should I end this feed and go live again here in a bit? I got another gossip I want to tell you guys. I want to show you guys something. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? That's nice, huh? Oh, you guys are all missing out. Check it out. Oh, 
Damn, all bad, huh? You guys are all missing out big time. Look at that. You guys can, you guys can't hear me, but can see me. What does that mean? Can you guys see it? Damn, you guys are all missing out big time. Look at that. This is uh, what I made. Oh, you guys are all hardcore missing out now. Should I just end this feed and then go live as soon as I end it? So you guys can... Uh, how come you guys can't? Alright, I'm going to end this feed and then I'm going to go live again. Make sure you guys join again, okay? Alright, let me end this real quick. <laughs>